Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for watching this video with me. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad that you're following along and that you're here to just hear this lesson today. We are going to be in the book of Ezra, chapters 1 through 3 in our Bibles. And we're going to be talking about um, how God kept his promise and brought his people back home. So that's our story point for today. God kept his promise to bring his people home because God is a promise keeper. God is faithful and he always keeps his promises. So we're going to be in the Bible. Remember, the Bible is God's special book. His words are written there. And every time I turn the page, I handle it with care. I hope you have a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, please let me know and message me. And maybe we can see about getting you a Bible. Um, we're going to be, uh, we're almost done with our Old Testament um, series. We've, we're going through the Bible and we're almost done. We're near the end of our Old Testament. We'll be in the New Testament here in a little bit. So we have been learning about the Israelites and seeing how God has just worked through every single aspect of their life, even through the captivity part of their journey. And today they're going to be able to go back home to their homeland. So I want you to listen. And as I read this story to you, I want you to draw pictures on a piece of paper. So if you need a paper and pencil or markers or crayons, um, I'll give you a little second to go and find those. So that way you can put it down on uh, the table or wherever you're at. And I want you to listen with your ears. So you can hear the story. And as I'm reading it to you, I want you to draw pictures to help you see the picture on your paper. Also, if you need to, there is a video for our Bible story. And it's on the webpage for the Children's Ministry webpage. And uh, the videos are always great. So there is one for this uh, Bible story. Okay, so I'm going to start reading. And as I'm reading, see if you can draw down uh, the story and what's happening. Many years before God's people were taken to Babylon, God promised the prophet Jeremiah that the exile would last 70 years. Then God would bring his people back home. God always keeps his promises. Cyrus, king of Persia, had taken over Babylon. God gave Cyrus an idea. Cyrus said, let all of God's people go back to Jerusalem so they can rebuild the Lord's temple. God, give them gold and silver and animals. Give them gifts for God's temple. The exile was over. God's people were free to go back to their homes. God's people got ready and their neighbors gave them gifts. Gold and silver and animals and other expensive things. Zerubbabel and the high priests led God's people back to Judah. They had been away for 70 years. Many of the people were born in Babylon. They had never seen the land God had given their parents and grandparents. In all, thousands of people went back to Judah. They settled in their hometowns and set up their houses. Then the people met together in Jerusalem to rebuild the Lord's temple. First, the priests rebuilt the altar in the same place it used to be. They followed all the laws of God for building. When the altar was finished, they offered burnt offerings to God. The people also obeyed the law about special celebrations. They had a festival like God had told them to do, and they made sacrifices to God. Then God's people gave money to stone cutters and carpenters who could work on God's temple. They paid people to bring cedar logs to Jerusalem. Finally, when everything was ready, the people started to work. They laid the foundation of the temple. The foundation was important. It would make the building strong. When the foundation was finished, the priests put on the special clothes and the people praised God. They sang, the Lord is good. His faithful love will last forever. Then the people shouted and praised God. They were so happy. The foundation of the temple was complete. But not everyone was happy, though. Some of the older people remembered what the temple had looked like 70 years ago. 
before it had been destroyed. They cried, and the noise of the crying and shouting was so loud that people could be heard, the people could be heard from far away. And that's the end of our story. If you finished and you did draw while listening, tell your guardian or parent to send it to me because I would love to see it and see what pictures you drew from the story that I read today. Before we end, I want to remind you that the temple was a place where God met with his people on earth and Jesus came to earth to rescue us, God's people. And one day, Jesus will return to restore a greater home for us and we will be with God and we will spend eternity with him. Thank you for joining me today. Um, and some news of, that you can just keep your um, ears open to and keep your eyes open is we will have Bible classes. It won't really be Bible classes, but it will be something like it um, in the month of March. And we're getting ready and prepared for that. And it will be a time that we can all come together in the building and we can see faces and we can have a time to worship and learn with each other again. And um, stay tuned because we will have new for news about that soon. All right, let's say our prayer. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow so we can talk to God just now. Thank you, God, for these words that are in the Bible that we can read and study and learn from. Thank you that everything that you have shown us so far still points to Jesus and his coming to restore us, to save us on the death of the cross and to give us something better. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you are faithful, Lord. We thank you that you keep your promises. Forgive us when we do wrong things. Protect us and watch over us. Be with our church, be with our families, be with our community, and be with our country. Thank you, God, for all the things you give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.